Today, I'll be playing F1 2016. This is the eighth installment from Codemasters F1 series released for the PS4, Xbox One, and Steam that brings you inside the world of F1 motor racing to compete for the world championship. The main feature of this game is the career mode that lets you compete across all 21 real world locations. There's loads of setup options, and you can tailor the difficulty and simulation to your liking. The more objectives you complete over the weekend, the more resource points you can use to develop the car. Each weekend contains practice, qualifying, and race events. The higher up the order you finish, the more points you earn towards the team and driver championships. 2016 is the first to introduce you to practice programs, which is something the series has needed all along. You see, F1 games are balls hard, and most people won't have patience to learn the nuances of the sport, as well as the demanding controls. But this system allows you to wean your way into it. The gas and brake are mapped to the throttles and work incredibly well. Driving an F1 car is different than you might think. You need to time your braking zones, glide through the apex, and gain traction. It's a visceral experience. Remember not to floor the gas if you want to preserve tires. There's also buttons that are used to shift through the fuel mix and status screen, which can be a little cumbersome, like I imagine it would be in real life. But that's the great thing about F1 2016. There are so many simulations that you can totally get absorbed in this game for a long time. And because all the tools and options you have are at your disposal, you can start in a rookie scenario while peeling back assists and upping the AI to give you an experience threshold you want. The game runs smooth and has a tremendous sense of speed. The character modeling's improved, and the replay cameras are really good. The audio is mixed well, and there's a lot of commentary, although I did change my engineer to speak out the TV and not in my controller. Overall, F1 2016 is the most definitive F1 game to date, and I look forward to see what Codemasters has for everyone next year. Has anyone given the F1 games a shot? What do you think? Start a dialogue in the comment section, and visit the website, gametestplay.com.